introduce yourself to Kings fans? Am I, oh, oh, you did just say look at you. De'Aaron Fox, and I like playing video games. I like playing video games. Rumor has it that you were playing uh, video games up to six hours a day. Yeah, I was, I probably, I honestly probably do it now. So, this is kind of amazing that we get to play on this. Welcome to the latest edition of Kings Central. I'm here at Golden One Center with Kings rookie De'Aaron Fox. And apparently, you're a big video gamer, which also, I hold the same title, so this is gonna be really interesting. We're gonna go inside the arena and we're gonna play NBA 2K on the big screen. I've never played on a screen that big. I've never played NBA 2K, so <laughs> this is gonna go really well. Oh, it's gonna be bad, let's go. Okay, so this is kind of amazing that we get to play on this. However, um, I know that you know you're a good multitasker, and since I'm sure that since you play games all the time anyway, that you can probably talk and carry on a conversation. I could I watch, have to I ask could watch you, TV. I have play to ask games. you questions though, and play. So I am playing as the old school kings, the Mike Bibby, Chris Webber, Vlade, yeah. Doug, Peja. I was so. probably like three years old. Three, yeah, four years I'm sure old. that makes them feel really good. <laughs> and I was, you know, I was probably, gosh, 20. So that's that's cool. And so what? Do you want to do push-ups? What's the deal? Friendly right. wager. 20 push-ups. 20. If, yeah. So okay. However, however I many. I will do 10. <laughs> however many. However many points I beat you by, you have to do half the number of push-ups. Okay. We'll do that. So like, if I beat you by 30, you gotta do 15. 15. If I beat you by 20, you gotta do 10. Okay. It's been a while since I've done a push-up. I might have to go with the girlies. That's fine. Okay. As long as you get them done. All right. How do we start this? What do I got to do? Hit, hit that yeah, one? Yeah. That okay. One. All right. So you don't, if you had to guess, would you be the best at 2K? I don't know that there's anybody. Oh my On God. the team? If yeah. I had to guess, yeah. I okay. Think I'd be the best. So, to be honest, I don't know when the last time I played on this camera How game. do you literally get, I'm, I'm really curious. Oh my God. Oh. Um, yeah. They don't go very fast. They oh, to run, to run fast is this trigger. That trigger? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's to run this fast. This just doesn't seem fair to me at all. But you're very helpful. I, I appreciate that. Oh my god. Wrong button. OK. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a bold. Dang. OK. Um, when did you really start playing video games? Like, when was it? Uh, I've been playing them since I can remember, honestly. I can remember like the PlayStation days. Like the original PlayStation. Okay. Uh, Cause my brother, my brother's about six years older than me, so I've been playing it for a long time. Okay. Well, did you? So, what was the first game that you played? Do you remember? No, nah, I don't remember. The oh first my game gosh! I played. So I played the original Nintendo. Like that's how you, that's how you roll. I mean, have uh, you ever even seen those? I don't think I played Nintendo, but I played the 64. I played the Nintendo 64. 64, I don't even know what that is. I played the Dreamcast. You never heard of the Dreamcast? No. That was one of the first games I played. Like me. I don't know, I don't even remember what it looked like. <laughs> okay, so rumor has it that you were playing uh, video games up to six hours a day. Yeah, I was, I probably, I honestly probably do it now. When, you do, if you had time. Like, do you have that kind of time now yeah. or? I don't have a family or a <laughs> wife to worry about, so I go home and just get on the game. Okay, so I hear that you have, what is it, a Twitch channel? Yeah. Ex please explain what that is. It's just kind of like a, it's like a little streaming thing. So you could be playing the game while other people are like watching you play. They can see your face okay. and everything. So is it, so it's like um, if you're like a Facebook Live or something like that. Yeah, and you basically. Can, okay, so can you, oh gosh, dang it. How do you steal the ball? Uh, that, square. The square, okay. Oh, son of a. 
Passes it to Fox. Feeds to Cauley Stein. All right, it's time to turn up. So bad. That's the first uh, time I scored. Okay, so question here. Your dad, is it true that he thinks that you actually like kind of developed some skills from playing 2K and playing video games? Like your, your on-court IQ? Uh, that was for the most part just when I was younger. When you I were would, younger, just kind of still like learning the game? Yeah, I would just like take, for the most part, I would just take the moves that, that I did on the game and I would do it in like in my games in, uh, in real life. But this is around like sixth, seventh grade. Okay, and when you were playing at that time, who were you playing as? Uh, at that time, I was always the Celtics. Oh, okay. That's when, that's when KG was playing. All, is he your all-time favorite? Yeah, he's my all-time favorite. Oh, and what about KG? I um, mean, I just like the intensity he played with. Uh, he did everything on the court. He would defend, rebound. Uh, he can score the ball from the high post and, all, and on. I mean, he did everything. Now, he, did, he did everything you wanted your power forward to do. And what about like the leadership from him? Because that's one of the things he's known for. I mean, you saw him. Like, yeah. you know, no matter what that team was doing, you know, he was in the front. Uh, he was the loudest one. He was extremely vocal. <sighs> Uh, oh, oh my god, I scored a bucket! <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> oh from, my man? goodness. What is Dragon Ball Z? Please tell me that, because that sounds like some kind of like herbal medication you take. Uh, it's, a, it's a show, <laughs> it's a show. Uh, it's like an, it's an anime, so it's like originated in Japan. And uh, I mean, that's really all it is. Or do you watch cartoons? Like, is there stuff that you watch yeah. other than like anime? No, I still watch cartoons. What do you watch? I mean, I still watch the SpongeBob's of the world. Oh, so you're a SpongeBob fan? SpongeBob's, the uh, what else? The Fairly Odd Parents. I still watch all of that. <laughs> this is not easy for me. All right, so talk to me about how you came to choose Kentucky. I'm trying to go to the NBA. <laughs> and that, and that is the like direct. Kind um, of route for a lot of guys. I mean, I really like Coach Cal. Uh, talking to him, you know, just got a good, uh, good vibe around him. Uh -huh. And uh, Coach Payne, I was really close to Coach Payne. Him and my dad actually knew each other in high school. Oh, really? Uh, both from Mississippi, so they played each other in high school all the time. So uh, my dad was really comfortable with me going there. And then obviously you went there and it had so much to do with. It was kind of like a plan, like one and done. You were, it was your direct route to the NBA. What was it like when you finally had your name called? Uh, it was great. I mean, that was something that I dreamed about my whole life. Uh, just being at draft night, being in the green room. Um, you know, it's not easy. Uh, only, a, only a few players each year are able to do that. So it was just a blessing that I was able to be a part of that group. Do you still have that visor? Yeah. From draft day? Yeah. Was it like in a special place in your house or is it something like you're rolling to the supermarket and you're putting the visor on? No, nah, no, nah, it's, uh, it's in my memorabilia room. Oh, you have a memorabilia room. Is it like here or is it home home? No, nah, it's, it's here. It's like, here. In, it's in my house. Yeah. Okay, in your house. And you're like 19 years old and can say, my house. Is that a pretty cool thing to be able to yeah, say Yeah, definitely. Like, and it's so funny when people ask like, oh, did my parents come here? I'm like, no. Like, no, not. I'm not going to live with my parents forever. <laughs> I'm curious because on draft night you wore that um, the the insignia, the breast cancer insignia on the inside of your jacket. Um, obviously, your mom is a, a breast cancer survivor. What was that like for you to be able to kind of? It's your day, but you made it very much about your mom, and you had that piece with you. Uh, it was great. I mean, you know, a day that was so so important to me. Uh, I was just able to attribute to her as well. So. I was there on draft night, and when your name was called, the place absolutely erupted. With the fifth pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select De'Aaron Fox. They were just so excited about it. Um, but like when Lonzo Ball's name was called at second, the place erupted, because it was like, okay, we're definitely gonna be taking De'Aaron. But there's like this, there's like this, rivalry that's been built up between you and Lonzo Ball, like how much of that is like really there or has it been, kind of been created by the media a little bit? It's been 100% created by the media. Is <laughs> it 100%? 100%. <laughs> so what do you think of like the, like even going back to um, Summer League when he didn't play in the game and it's like, oh, he's dodging De'Aaron and like all of that. And then Dennis Smith Jr. didn't play in Dallas. And it's like the fans have kind of started this thing where it's like, 
oh, they're they're dodging, they're dodging <laughs> De'Aaron. What is that? What is that like for you to hear that? Even if it's just kind of fan and media created. I mean, it's funny. You know, uh, I see it, I see it on social media and stuff, but. I don't know what really happens, but I mean, I, I have a laugh. You have Honestly, a laugh at yeah, it? Yeah, that's just really it. <laughs> the in and out thing is one of the craziest things, so. That's, that's, that, that is 100% the truth. <laughs> that's one you of the. You don't like in and out? Nah. Okay, were you aware when it happened at how like Northern California is are like big in and out people? Yeah, I know. And it was like, so I don't like in and out, like who cares? <laughs> it was just not a big thing. I just had to let them know. I kind of knew that it was gonna, I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Just cause you see the whole, a lot of people still do the Whataburger in and out debate. Uh -huh. People from Texas is like, why didn't I mention Whataburger? And it's like, I mean, I don't care for Whataburger like that either. I've never had that. You never had it? I've never had it, but when we were in Texas recently, it was like, oh, you, Jerry Reynolds was like, you gotta go to Whataburger, you gotta try it. To be honest, the only thing I get there is like the honey butter chicken biscuit. That uh -huh. is like a must have, like you have to get that. <laughs> Coming up on King Central. My guy has nine assists. Really? Are you gonna also talk? He trash? has more assists than you have. Points. Okay, that's not cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm trying to remember how to dribble. Shoot it. All right, you wait, you have three TVs in your game room at home. Please explain this. It's just so when I want to watch TV and play the game, I can do it. And then like I have I have a PC. It's just a computer. Um, that's for that's for gaming too. And then sometimes I'll just like watch Netflix or something with that and like have a game on, like have a basketball game uh -huh. or a football game on one TV and then be playing like a video game on the other one. Is it hard for you to just sit and do one thing? Is it hard? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I, I think it is like the video gaming, like if you're able to like do this and you're good at this kind of stuff, I think it's like the way your brain is wired. Uh, I've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. Like even in, in high school, I would have like a TV on the floor uh -huh. and then a TV on like a, on a desk or something and I'll watch TV and play the game on the other TV. Oh so like I've been, I've basically been doing that for a long time. Literally there's like not a button. Okay, see what? Okay. God, this is really hard for me to focus on these questions and play this game. Um, oh, I do want to ask you about Chauncey Billups. Obviously, like, it's been a whirlwind since, I don't know, draft day and then coming into the league and now you're in the middle of the season. And, but, like, being interviewed by Chauncey, he had some really nice things to say about you. What was that like for you? Oh, it was great. I mean, someone that I kind of, that I watched a lot. Uh, my dad was a big fan, so I watched the Pistons a lot. And um, I mean, what he did in the NBA, and then to say that I was better than him as a rookie, uh, it's great. You know, it's just just the future that I'm looking forward to. When you get a chance to like talk to guys like that, what do you do, what do you ask them? Do you ask them questions and advice, or is it just kind of you allow yourself to soak up the moment, kind of like a fan? Um, just like how their how their experience was, because everyone always has a different type of story. Uh, for the most part, I never knew Chauncey played with a bunch of different teams. Yeah. All I saw was the Pistons and Denver. That's really all I saw. But you know, he said he bounced around a lot, and that was one thing that I, I never knew. Yeah. I never knew happened. And Carl Anthony Towns as well. I mean, he's a younger guy, but has a ton of respect for your game. Did you get a chance to talk to him when you were down there for the jersey? Yeah, I always see Carl. I mean, uh, he came back when I was at Kentucky. He came back during the summer, so. Um, a lot of those guys, a lot of Kentucky guys always come back, play pickup, you know, they'll run a camp or two. And uh, you just get to talk to those guys and, you know, you see how normal they are that, you right. know, people don't get to see that. And, uh, I mean, they're just good basketball players and then just better people off the court. You did get a chance to play against your favorite kind of active NBA player this month, uh, Russell Westbrook, and you guys came out with a win. What was that experience like for you just to kind of do it in person? Uh, it was great. I mean, especially, you know, it was even better that, you know, we got the win because, you know, we played John and and they kind of, they beat us good. So, uh, when it was good getting the, getting the win at home and doing it against, you know, my favorite player was great. Did you have the opportunity to, like, talk to him at all while after the game or before the game? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, even you know, during the summer, uh, we're in LA. You know, he just, just asked me, you know, if I was ready for this. Uh, you know, just it was going to be so much different from, from the way college was. And he's obviously a Southern California UCLA guy, but he kind of did it the hard way. I mean, he didn't have. You know, he played a little bit longer, and no one knew the type of player that he was really going to be coming out. Is there anything that he was able to give you that you're like, okay, that's going to that's gonna be an important piece of information or advice for me? Uh, just always working. You know, um, everybody always has a different path, and uh, my path is much different from his, but at the end of the day, you know, we we're both drafting the top five, so... Uh, he just got better every year throughout his career, and uh, that's just one thing that I want to do. Uh, one thing that he told me, you know, just during the offseason, always work on your game, always work on your body. What did you take away from um, kind of the process of coming into the league? Uh, just enjoy enjoying the process, you know, um, that's something that you can really only do once, go through the draft. I mean, you can play in the, in the summer league multiple times, but being able to go through the draft, uh, getting yourself ready for your first NBA year, you can you can only do that once. So it was really just enjoying it for me. Did you come into the season with goals? Uh, like definitely. Specific, like anything like rookie of the year or like what what are your specific goals? I mean, every every rookie wants to win rookie of the year, so of course that you know, just being able to help my team out on the floor. And uh, you know, as a team, we try to do better than we did last year. Uh, we try to have a better record. Uh, you know, have fun playing the game and just help your brothers out on the court. Do you feel um, that the transition for all of you guys? Because I think one of the benefits for this team is, yeah, you guys are young, which means there's going to be some struggles and there's a learning curve for all of you guys. But um, also, there's so many of you that you can kind of like go through it together. Do you feel like having the other rookies is beneficial for you guys just going through the process? Yeah, uh, of course. I mean, you have some guys that are like the only rookie on their team, so they get all yeah. the rookie treatment, but we have five. So it's just, it's, it's just different. It's not the same. You know, we're not going through what, you know, regular rookies would be going through. What is, um, so I was talking to Costa Kufas actually, and I want to say this was, you know, early in the season about the rookies. He's like, I was the only rookie on my team. He's like, these guys, you know, it's, there's so much more that they have to learn. Is it something like, do you guys get an opportunity to kind of hang out with each other? Oh gosh. Do you guys get an opportunity to hang out with each other off the court? Is that a good thing to kind of have that kind of family off the court with each other? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we do it with the older guys too, you know, not just the younger guys stay together. Uh, you know, we're just trying to build chemistry with each other. I mean, we, for the most part with the young guys, we all, we all knew each other before we even got drafted. So it's not like, you know, we're trying to force something that's not there. It's early in the season. I mean, it's not even a full two months into it yet, but at the end of the season, when your rookie year is over, what is the one thing you want to be able to say that you did? Uh, just that I, I just want to be able to say that I affected the team in a positive way. Uh, that's one thing that you know, I just really want to do. Okay, so advice on this one because I haven't made a free throw yet and it like shakes at me. Okay. Try to release it when it gets to the top. Do I, but like, can I control the direction of it? No. God, he's not that bad of a free throw shooter though. No, when it's in your hands, he's terrible. <laughs> get out of my way, yo. Okay. Oh gosh. Dang it. I was trying to shoot. 30. It. It's at 30 right now. Oh my gosh. So right now you're at 15. I'm not doing push-ups. <laughs> you're at 15 right now. Coming up on King Central. You literally are great at multitasking, or I'm so bad that you can actually like type on your phone. Nah, and, you're really like, bad. Oh, I know. I, I realize. You're really that. bad. Okay, Darren, you literally are great at multitasking, or I'm so bad that you can actually like type on your phone. Nah, and you're really like, bad. Oh, I know, I, I realize. You're really that. bad. But it's the fourth quarter, I'm down by 30. I'm trying to not do a million push-ups, so I'm gonna take this seriously. Is it your ball? Yeah, it's your ball. Okay, where is it? Come on, Scal. Oh, throw to JJ. Ugh. My guy has nine assists. Really? Are you gonna also talk? He trash? has more assists than you have points. Okay, that's not cool. 
Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna start shooting the ball. I don't even care. Ah. And I'll go to the free throw line and miss 50 more free throws. You can't miss a free throw with Mike Bibby. Really? That don't make sense. Really? You got to try to stop it at the top. That's what I am doing. You yeah, act obviously. like I'm intentionally being bad. You're doing it too late. Too late? Yeah. OK. You see when it starts? Okay. Now that was good. See? See, I made it. Ooh. And I dribbled it off. Oh, get that true. Oh. <laughs> wow, they call out of bounds. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, not as terrible as my 2K skills. All it takes is practice. I don't have time for that, unfortunately. I feel bad. Oh, really? Give me that. Really? You're going to come out there, Willie? As if you're not already beating me by 30? Actually, he did that. I, I didn't do that. OK. Oh, god. I got a rebound. Oh, I've got double digits. What you got <laughs> for me, Darren? OK, OK. OK, I'll pass it to you, Mike. Jeez. You think? I love how they like commentate when I obviously know I'm bad. I'm glad that you guys can't hear the commentators during the game. <laughs> Could yeah, you imagine having that piped in? I wouldn't even want to hear it. Who do you think are some of the surprising rookies in your guys' class? Um, you know, of course, Cal, just because you know, he was late first round pick. But uh, Cal's been playing really well. Uh, Donovan has been playing really well. Malik's been playing well. Uh, <laughs> One thirty left of just pure torture. It's awful, Darren. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you. Hey. Marked by Sacramento. Jackson's gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. River and Labissier sends it back. <laughs> I just was. I'm not doing 20 push ups. I just want to catch a lob. Jeez Louise. Um, I'm trying to remember how to dribble. The official's in my way. Shoot it. Gosh. Okay. Okay, get out of my way. Okay, pass it. Up. Ugh. Make it stop now. Okay, you got your lob. You literally <laughs> did what game. young guys do. You ran up the score, you scored at the buzzer when you're already beating nah, the crap out even, of me. It didn't even count. <laughs> it didn't even count. Well, thank you for taking the time to do this. And the good news about it is, is we're done. And the next time I see you, it's all actually on the basketball court and then I'll be in my element there. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. I won by 30. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's not 30, right? It's 30. Okay, 42 no. minus 12, you, carry no, to 30, one. you said half, so I have to Yeah, yeah, I'm saying I won by, yeah, I won by 30, so you got 15 push-ups. 15 push-ups. Oh, you won by 30. I thought you said, I want my 30. No, 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 I said I won by 30. I'll do these 15 push-ups, Darren. All right. I'm telling you right now, some of these will look good, and then it'll get really bad. Are you ready? Here we go, 15. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not going eight, down very far. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, I need two good ones, 14. <laughs> yeah, 15. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's, work, that's the workout for hey, the week. Yeah, that's the workout for the next six months. <laughs> <laughs>